Here's how to fix a wobbly soft closed toilet seat on an American standard toilet. You may need to alter some steps if your toilet seat is different. First, you'll need to remove the existing seat. In this case, the hinge bolt tops are covered by a plastic lid, so you can begin by trying to slide the plastic tabs on the back inward toward each other. If that doesn't work, insert a small flathead screwdriver into the opening on both sides to push the tabs in and then slide the whole toilet seat off towards the front of the toilet bowl. The biggest issue here is that the original bolts are metal and the one on the right has completely rusted and sheared off. The elongated openings of the nylon washers contributes to the movement of the seat over time, as well as the fact that the nylon material itself doesn't really compress, so it doesn't grip the porcelain. Once you've removed the two bolts and nuts, it may be necessary to remove some other plastic inserts if they will interfere with your new bolts being able to fit down through the toilet hinge holes. This is just a universal fit toilet seat hinge bolt kit. One reason to choose a kit like this one is that the washers are rubber, so they will deform under pressure and provide a bit of gripping force. As you can see, the holes of the seat hinge don't really align with the toilet's hinge holes, so the new bolts will pass through the toilet's hinge holes at a bit of an angle. Because of this, I'm also using two galvanized metal washers, which are about the same size as the rubber washers, to apply an even pressure to the rubber washers once it's tightened down. In this case, the metal washers are one inch in diameter with a 7 16 inch hole. Last component used here is a toilet seat tightening kit. As I had three toilets to fix, the main reason for the purchase is the six rubber washers, which are more like step-down collars. They are designed to be inserted into the toilet's hinge hole from the underside of the toilet with the narrow part of the washer facing upwards. Slide the washer, narrow side first, up over the bolt coming down and then thread the nut onto the bottom of the bolt. The kit's included screwdriver and wrench are easy to use and do a decent enough job. Just insert the gray wrench over the nut and tighten the top bolt with the red screwdriver. Verify that it's not wobbly and you're done.